what's poppin'? All right, fam. All right, ball checking in here. And uh, I think we have a lot to discuss. Now, let's jump right into it. First off, salute the notification game. Hitting that like button. Before you start, y'all, the real. All right, fam, salute. Anyway, up first, we got that boy. The rise of social media been crazy, bruh. It puts the users on an emotional roller coaster. But like anything else in life, you gotta take the good with the bad. Now let's discuss the good. I see a lot of people turning to millionaires overnight on social media. Even the thoughts sell a few flat tummy teas without even drinking it, bruh. I'll be like, shouty. I just saw you on Dr. Miami Snapchat. Ain't no damn flat tummy tea got you in shape like that. They getting they finesse on, bro, and you can't hate on it, fam. But those things aren't guaranteed, bro. You got to have a certain amount of clout. Your followers got to be up, fam. But one thing's for sure. If you say something crazy and they get a hold of it, they gon' get you trending ASAP, bro. And today. It's more the same, bro, because that boy Boosie was trending after he took the IG and said this. Happy G-Day to the love you, son, will follow my heart. Pop, see you tomorrow. Got a bag for you and a bad bit to give you some head. You already know how I do it to the raw. The mixtape dropping October 1st. Now, soon as that boy Boosie said that, they got that man trending immediately, fam. Social media was in an uproar, bro. Fans were like, oh my God, dude. I'm a fucking fan of you, Boosie. Don't do this to me, dude. Women going all crazy. You're so disgusting. How could you do this to your son? They had Boosie out here looking like a horrible father for a minute, fam, so he had to respond, bruh, and he did. Now, Boosie got on TMZ and stated that all of this was a joke, fam. He was joking with his son, bruh, which I figured he was doing, bruh. I didn't take the situation serious at all, fam. I don't know how it is in other areas, but where I stay at, people joke like that all the time with their sons and nephews, bruh. I can remember when I turned 15, my brother was like, shoo, bruh. You old enough to hit the script club, now we hitting that bit tonight. He was saying all that in a joke of matter, which we all know. But when you get on social media, everybody don't know it's a joke, bruh. And people take it serious because a lot of people was forced against their will and had something like that happen to them in real life. And it becomes a sensitive subject for them. So I understand both sides. It's just a wild situation, period, bruh. I know that boy Boosie didn't mean any harm, but I understand the backlash as well, fam. I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Anyone about to be out of here, sub to the channel if you haven't. Press that sub button. Also, press that bell beside the notification anytime I drop a video. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. Follow me on IG at Relatable Salute to y'all, man. We on that one. 100K. Grind up, ball. Go.